If you're getting the error message that we hit a roadblock and getting kicked out of Fortnite game to the lobby, here is a video and I will show you some simple steps in order to fix this problem. The first and foremost thing, if you see the error message it very very clearly, it is mentioned over there that the error is due to some problems in installation and needs to verify your files in order to fix. Let's do it then. Firstly, we will verify the files and I'm pretty sure majority of the players have already done it but if you haven't, give it a shot and see if that fixes a problem. To verify your Fortnite, what you need to do is you have to open Epic Games Launcher and then as you can see here I have Fortnite. I have not updated it because I don't play Fortnite on this PC which I'm using but you just need to just click on this three dots over here and you will find an option of verify coming over here since I have not updated it, it's not coming over here but you, you will see an option called as verify so simply click on it it will take a little bit of time depending on do you have a hard disk drive or an SSD drive. If you have an SSD, it will take a little bit more faster. If you have a hard disk drive, it may be a little bit slow. So let it verify, wait for a bit and then try the game, see if that helps. Now, if it doesn't work, then move to the next step. Now, I was going through some forums and I got a fix that is working for all the PC players is that whosoever is having the exit lag VPN were getting this issue. And once they remove or uninstall exit lag from their PC, it fixes a problem. So I would highly recommend you to try it once, just uninstall or delete exit lag from your PC if you're having it and then try your game. I'm pretty sure it will fix the problem. And one more thing you have to note it here that if you have any other VPN service which is running in the background or anything like that, try uninstalling that VPN service and then see if the game is working. Majority of the players when exit lag is uninstalled the game is working perfectly fine. It may not be only for exit lag, it can be other VPNs as well. So if you are using any other VPN service or anything like that, just for once, uninstall it, completely remove it from your PC, then try to play the game, see if that works. If it is working, that means that was a problem and it's fixed now, but if it's not, you can move to the next step. Now the issue can be related to your network as well. So if you're using a LAN cable, which is connected to your router, make sure just to change that network to your mobile hotspot or any other network. This will do is this will completely change the route of sending packets to the Fortnite server and it may fix your issue. Though you may encounter high ping with a mobile hotspot but you won't be getting kicked out of the game to the lobby as you're getting with your ISP network or the Wi-Fi which you're using currently. And you can play the game until Epic finds out a fix for this. So any kind of network, whether you have another Wi-Fi, let's say for example, you are in some place where you have more than one network which, you're, uh, like, which you can use. So whatever network you're using currently, let's say you're using a LAN cable, you just replace it with some completely different network if you have. All you can do is quite simply, you can just put your phone hotspot on and then connect the Wi-Fi from there and you can do it. You can do this on PC, Xbox or any other platform which you have and then try C if the problem is getting fixed. If it's fixed, fine. If it doesn't, move to the next step. Now the next thing is we're going to change the network's DNS server. Now after changing the Wi-Fi or the connecting to the mobile hotspot, if you're still encountering the problem, so that is that means that your LAN cable doesn't have that issue. This time we will change the DNS server manually that will make the connection more stable. For this, what you need to do is, whatever network you're using, right click on it and go to open network and internet settings. Over here, click on change adapter options and this thing will come up. Here, you need to see what network you're using. Currently I'm on Wi-Fi, so I'm just gonna right click on it and go to properties. And over here, I just need to check internet protocol version four, TCP slash IP version four, click on properties and here you will see a small little thing which will come up. It said obtain DNS server address automatically use the following DNS server address. So you just need to click on use the following DNS server address and type the DNS server which you're going to use. I would highly recommend you to use the Google DNS server which is 8888-8844 and simply just click on OK. If this doesn't work there is one more DNS server which is a bit more stable as compared to this which you can use is the Cloudflare DNS server which is 11111001. So you can use either of these two DNS servers whichever work perfectly fine for you. You can try this DNS server at the starting because this is a little bit more stable from the previous one. This is the Cloudflare DNS server. Just put the number here, click OK, restart your router once and then try the game. If it doesn't work, 
move to the next step. The next step is to repair or install Easy Anti Cheat again. So if you are playing Fortnite, there would be a service called as Easy Anti Cheat service, which help us to prevent cheating in the game. What you need to do is first and foremost open your Fortnite directory wherever your Fortnite is installed in whichever folder it is. Open the folder called as Fortnite game, double click on it, go to binaries, win64 and we'll find a folder called as easy anti cheat. Open this folder. Now once you're in this folder, you just need to double click on this easy anti cheat setup and there will be an option in the corner which will set as a repair. You just need to click on that. And what it will do is if there is any problem with the easy anti cheat, it will automatically repair that service and then you can start your game. If you're still having the issue, I would highly recommend you to uninstall easy anti cheat and then choose Fortnite and install it again. Now, if none of this fix is giving you a proper result, I would highly recommend you to reinstall Fortnite again and see if that fixes your problem. Now, if you are a console user, be it any console, let's say Xbox, PlayStation or Switch, Firstly, you need to power cycle your console and then reconnect all the power cables and then turn your device on once again. You should do power cycling in PlayStation and Nintendo Switch as well if you're using those consoles. The next step would be to enable QoS. Now, QoS is a service of the router. What it do is some routers are capable of prioritizing game packets in order to lessen the network lag in your games. This service is called as quality of service or in short form, we call it as QoS. If your router has this capability, do a bit of research using Google or how to enable QoS for the device or for the router which you're using because different routers have different procedures. I would highly recommend you to contact the ISP or from where you have bought the router. You can move to their website, see some forums and see how to enable QoS. You can simply type how to enable QoS and the name of the router with the model name if you have. Alternatively, you can consult the documentation or the manual of the router. If your router is provided by the ISP or the internet service provider, contact their technical support team to get enabling QoS. And the last step in console would be to change the DNS server manually. I have shown you in PC, for Xbox or any other console, what you need to do is first and foremost, go to the system tab and then click on settings. Here you will find an option called as network. Select network settings from there, go to advanced options and then select DNS settings. Click on manual. Put the primary DNS as I have shown you before 8888 and the secondary DNS 8844. Alternative DNS is the Cloudflare DNS server which we have already seen that is 11111001. If it asks for you to type an MTU the value would be 1473. So you can do this same thing in the PlayStation as well as in your Nintendo Switch as well and then try the game see if that fixes your problem. So that was a video that was straight and simple. Hope this video helped you and I hope there is no major issue on the server end of Fortnite. And if that's the case, probably we need to wait for a patch or something from Epic. But if it helped, please don't forget that like button. If you have any questions regarding this particular error or any other error, you can comment down below in my comment section. Or this is my Twitter handle. You can just tag me with a screenshot regarding what error you're getting. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.